said it's Sassanok back in Dundee. I subscribed to nationalist theory, but wherever I drove, I found signposts that strove to make touring in Ireland so dreary. God's plan made a hopeful beginning, but man spoiled his chances by sinning. We trust that the story will end in great glory, but at present, the other side's winning. A poetess living in Trim possessed a remarkable grim. She wore a large bonnet while writing a sonnet, but stripped when composing a hymn. This has been going on for a while, and um, will continue for a while longer. As a traveller and uh, occasional writer, scribbler, I happened upon this pub in Limerick where uh, poets tend to gather. Now, being down on my luck with my writing, scribbling, I often lurked about in Toomey's pub for inspiration. Toomey, you boast yourself handy at serving good ale and bright brandy. But the truth is your liquor makes everyone sicker. Tell you that, I, your friend Andy. Now that is what you call a poet. Andy McGraw, the merry peddler. I serve good ale and sweet sherry that makes my customers merry. But often the chances they fall down on finances and that makes me very sad. Very. And that's to me whose establishment is always welcome to the passing bard. Your poems and your pints, by your favour, are totally unpleasant to savour. It's also your pleasure to give us short measure, and your ale has a dishwater flavour. I'm sorry, uh, do you want something? Guinness! Not wanting to be bested by a mere barkeep, Andy became further disgruntled and thought of other pieces in the five-line prose. A kind old curate of Q kept a large cat in a pew. He taught us each week a new word of Greek, but never got further than mew. There once was a pirate whose leg was made out of cork from a keg. When he swam in the sea, he'd upend at the knee and scrape barnacles off of the skeg. There was a young lady of Kent. I'm sorry, do you want something? Gillis. There was a young lady of Kent whose nose was most awfully bent. One day, I suppose, she followed her nose, for no one knows which way she went. The cross-eyed old painter, Macneff, was colorblind, palsied and deaf. When asked to be touted, the critics all shouted, this is art, but with a capital F. There was an old gourmet called Sam, who indulged in a weakness for lamb. When they brought him some bacon, he said, you must be mistaken for this stuff. I don't give a damn. Guinness. They continued like this throughout the night. An unfortunate fellow named Chase had an arse that was in the wrong place. He expressed indignation when an investigation showed that some people shite through their face. As you can see, Andy is not beyond rudeness when backed into the corner. On the breasts of a barmaid in Yale are tattooed prices of ale, but on her behind, for the sake of the blind, are the same, but in braille. There was a young lady from Spain who took her drawers down on a train. Then a young porter saw more than the other, but asked her to do it again. There was a young royal marine who tried to fart God save the Queen. When he reached the soprano, out came the guano and his breeches weren't fit to be seen. The ship's first mate, name of Morgan, by God he was a gorgon. 
Nine times a day, fine tunes he'd play on his own gigantic mellifluous or- An eminent person named Nixon. What was a young lady named May? Used to fart when he said benediction. Who strolled in the park, by the way. The shy flock would smile. And she met a young man. As they trooped down the aisle. Who had her and ran. The arse on our parson needs fixing. I once knew a harlot named Lou. And a versatile girl she was too. After ten years of whoredom, she perished of boredom when she married a jackass like you. Hmm. There was an old geezer named Toomey, whose poems didn't work well at all. They never did rhyme, and they all finished too soon. Good night. Well, enough of this witty banter. Now that I have overcome my writer's block, I shall return to England and publish the verse of the County Limerick. I'll have one of those black beers, please. You're a traveller, aren't you? Where are you from? Nantucket. 